Scorpio to your January Asher Dice reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. New month, new year. Wow. Okay, getting straight into this. After this reading, I will have that manifestation video up. Uh, we are in the 123, 123 portal, so I want to make sure that you guys get that ASAP. It runs until January 7th. It started on the 31st of December, so okay, let's go. Oh, coming out with the fifth house, some moon energy, and Aries. Okay. So with the moon over here, we're talking about your unconscious, sensitive inner emotions and responses. With that Aries energy, the energy around you is dynamic, spontaneous, crusading, impulsive action is likely to occur. And going straight into the fifth house, this is where you have fun, romance, and create things you are proud of. At that creative center as well as that romantic center. Okay, let's see what's going on with you getting straight into this. This is for the beginning of the month, middle of the month, and the end of the month. Best messages, please. The waiting game. Hangman energy coming out with the sacrifice in reverse. And standing your ground. So definitely have something going on over here where you are in a pause effect. You are not moving. Um, definitely pausing to surrender. Saying I'm not going to self-sacrifice myself to this situation. In fact, I'm going to stand my ground um, at this time as I'm waiting. What are you waiting for? It's got you in a sensitive mood. what they're waiting for. We've got some loneliness and some need over here. Feeling a little bit of lack when it comes to a situation. So waiting for the purpose, waiting for some door to open, waiting for some kind of message to come through, daydreaming about this and keeping the wishful thinking alive over here. Um, with the self-sacrifice, I'm not going to hang around for the situation. Um, right, I'm in a pause and surrender, but I'm not going to self-sacrifice myself for this situation. So this is talking about trying and waiting for the good news to come. Um, and here's the hangman again in reverse again, having that delay and that standstill, right? Like I said, I'm not going to move at this point just yet because I'm still in indecision about where I'm going to go, what I'm going to do. Um, having maybe even the fear to sacrifice anything or to want to move um, when it comes to your stability. Um, standing your ground because it does feel like you have this sudden change that's coming um, that is going to keep you in this area over here, but you're waiting for the fairness and the truth of the situation. This fairness and the truth of the situation could be coming out also, um, which could be keeping you standing within your own truth, and that's why you have, you know, you're standing your ground because you're saying, this is where I say my, my fairness is. This is what the truth is. So it does feel like you this uh, sudden awareness, this wake up, this chaos, however it is, everybody's story is going to be a little different on how that's going to happen, um, is definitely going to have you standing in that truth and clarity, um, in the, kind of in the knowing, but kind of like, well, but I'm still in indecision about where I'm going to move. So you could be in the have the clarity and stuff, but it just means I'm not moving yet, right? I'm not going to take any action. Um, and with the partnerships and alliances over here, you do have the triumph. Ooh, and the foundations. Ooh. So you could have a lot of miscommunication when it comes to your romance um, within your life. It could be partnerships and alliances. It could even be that you are passionate. Maybe you are in a um, in a band or doing something creative, and you're having a rough time with people that you work with um, in a band or, like I said, in this creative area of your life. Um, otherwise, it could be. This relationship, having a rough time in this relationship, trying to find the victory, but yet having, wanting the victory, finding your movement, this is the chariot, so you're moving in a different direction for sure to find your victory because you're finding that this place has broken communication, there is broken action over here. So I'm moving swiftly where I know I can go somewhere, um, right, because in the 
mid month it says I have the clarity and the understanding of what's going on in this partnership in this alliance um, or this romance or however it is for you my friends um, but it is about using your swift your swift mind and your sharp mind right to come up with a decision so where it felt like you had no decision and wasn't sure where you were going to go at this time even though you knew the truth about the situations is saying I am now going to make the decision to be able to move with the chariot okay so looks like you have really thought about what it is you want and you are planning for your future you are planning to make this action against this betrayal against this whoever was tricking you whatever this fraud was whatever they were trying to get away from whatever this disharmony and cause this tower okay so you are definitely finding your patience and your footing you're trying to be sensible when it comes to the fourth house you're trying to use your patience within that fourth house um right you're standing within your own courage um, you might even have somebody who's persuading you in the fourth house over here, your loved one. could be persuading you, trying to take on the courage themselves, um, but it does feel like they're having some kind of resistance to change. They're holding on to old stagnant ways um, as you are trying to take a personal transformation. So it's pretty much like I'm taking a personal transformation, but your persuasion and your courage is just the same old, same old. You see what I'm saying? They're not changing. They're just holding on to those old stagnant ways. Um, which is causing this imbalance within the relationship, okay, where you're finding the courage to say, no, I'm going to step out of this and I'm going to change the situation as much as I can, which is way different from what happened in the beginning of the month because in the beginning of the month, you said I wasn't going to sacrifice anything. <laughs> and now you're saying, no, I'm going to do this now. Um, I've decided what I'm going to do and that's what you've decided. Take on your building something new taking on new responsibilities, new things within your life, looking at things from a different area of your life, um, working together, trying to get them to work with you. So you might even find at the end of the month they've decided that they are going to come back to you and work things out with you. But they definitely want to open up their heart um, after they've had some rest and rejuvenation, after they've gone and thought about the situation, seen it from a different point of view, it looks like they want to come back um, and see it your way. Um, they could have seen because you were moving on within your energy and they don't want you to move on. So they definitely know that, um, right, that there was movement and choices and decisions that they need to make, um, right, as you're kind of moving away from them in energy. Um, doesn't mean it has to be 100% physical. It could just, like I said, be energy. Pulling your energy back, pulling yourself away from them. Um, so definitely feeling like you're getting the teamwork. You're, you're knowing that you're seeing the teamwork. You're seeing that, you know what, you're trusting within your intuition. But you're also seeing, because the high priestess can see, she's very clear. So intuitively, you can see that they were worried, that they had fear, that you were go definitely going to move away, that you had made a judgment call um, on what it is you were going to do, whatever that was, right? Um, so opening up your heart chakra over here. The heart is open at the end of the month, and it is talking about, yeah, seeing that their stagnation is changing into the nurturing of the situation. So not only is your heart chakra open, but it does show that this person you could be dealing with, um, whether it is a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius, um, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo, they're, they're also they're also open, right? They're also providing. They're also wanting to be a team player. They're wanting to be very supportive. They're coming back around, but it does feel like you're supporting their ideas as well as you are now finally being able to have the talk, having the forgiveness. Um, it looks like the talk is being made. Um, so it does look like it's very optimistic over here as you get the two of cups. So that's very good. Having a healthier open communication with this person where everything was starting to yeah go awry so over here on the rest you do have the fast acting and fast succession and it does look like they are turning things around they definitely do want to work with you they do see you as the nine of pentacles they don't want to lose the nine of pentacles Ooh. Ooh. because they know that that's exactly what it is they're afraid you were going to walk away from them they're afraid that you were, there was just too much disappointment in the situation. They don't want to disappoint you anymore. They see you kind of leaving behind the situation. Um, so, the, right? But they also kind of see you carrying all the burdens 
Um, so there is a huge turnaround in the way that they're doing things. Wow, they've like they seen they seen the light, my friends. Wow, they've definitely seen the light. Wow. Goodness, I think, you know, it is a huge, you know, huge thing for them over here, obviously, because if they see you as the Nine of Pentacles and they see you as, yeah, they see you as the Empress. They want to grow with you, so and they don't want this to be as mysterious as it was before they're getting past their, their fears and anxieties. This is going to help you also, but it does show that you are kind of watching them and, you know, kind of watching them change as well as we see the moon over here, which is talking about change. It's talking about the cycles, watching them cycle through different emotions, watching them cycle through, you know, even their intuition and how they're moving and what are they doing. Um, right? Are they going to leave this baggage behind? Are we going to fix this and move on? I do see that. They want to be team players. Got the three of pentacles. So it does look like they want to build this with you. They want to fix this with you. Wow. What a, it was like, it went from like kind of sour reading into a very beautiful reading. So it's very, very nice. I like that. And there could be a lot of forgiveness over here as well between the two of you. I see forgiveness twice or with the three of swords and the judgment, them asking for forgiveness and you two forgiving each other. So I do see that. So Okay, and that was it for you. Until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye -bye.